Hey, welcome back! Another episode here of Craft D&D. Today we're going to be taking a look at 50 unique images! Dungeons & Dragons art that you can buy today. Uh, 20 bucks for this box. There's 100 unique images in here. It comes in a really cool, nice black cardboardy box type thing. It's got some of the sample art on it. It's got a nice little... Um, you could you could put this on your shelf uh, you, with your rest of your books. You can uh, take these pieces out. You could display them. Get some frames. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little, uh, it's a nice little box to contain to contain all these. These are postcard quality images. These aren't like uh, super flimsy or anything like that. It's not like it's a paper. It's actually postcard quality. It's what's that light cardboard. Uh, this collection of 100 postcards celebrates the history of Dungeons & Dragons with 50 memorable in uh, illustrations that have appeared on module covers, starter sets, and other beloved books and products from every edition of the game, dating back to the 1970s, and there's really cool ones all the way back. Uh, the back of each postcard includes information about the art and provides plenty of room for a written message. Now... Looking through them, I did not notice any original edition art. Not that there's a lot of original edition art. So here's what they look like. You take them all out, and it's a nice, like I said, nice, heavy, thick, cardboard, uh, uh, postcard quality. Um, you could mail these. Uh, you know, the, they actually have the spot for the stamp. They have the spot to write your message. And they even have a little tiny uh, tidbit about what it, the uh, art is. Like this is the Neverwinter Dragon here. And it says here, Red... Dragon um, over Neverwinter by Tyler Jacobson, 2014. So absolutely, every one of these does contain who the artist is, when it was created, and what it was used for. So there's some really cool, um, there's just some really cool pieces of art in here. And like I said, there's two copies of every one here. So yeah, you just have a whole lot of them just to kind of look at. Let's just flip through them all real quick. Like I said, here's the dragon. Here's another dragon. You got a beholder, you've got uh, the dragon here, and of course this is one of the original from the uh, uh, basic set, uh, David C. Sutherland, 1977. So you guess there's just a lot of really fun pieces here. You've got uh, this guy here from the Player's Handbook, and uh, he was by uh, David Trampier in 1978. Um, you've got... This piece of art here, I believe, is Waterdeep. Yeah, Waterdeep from 2018, Vincent Price. Price. And so, yeah, just some really fun. The uh, uh, first edition monster manual. You've got a mimic. This is from fifth edition. You have In Search of the Unknown. Uh, In Search of the Unknown cover by David Trampier and David Sutherland, 1978. Here's a Baldur's Gate. Uh, that's the Mike Schley Baldur's Gate 2019. Here's another Baldur's Gate, I believe. Yeah, the Baldur's Gate Cityscape by Larian Studios 2019. Here's one interesting one. This is from a cover of Dragon Magazine. I do not remember this at all, but uh, apparently it was Dragon Magazine 1990, so I'm, I, I know I saw it. I know I probably once upon a time even owned it, but I don't remember that cover whatsoever. Here's a Demogorgon, here's Drizzt, here's a uh, um, cover of the Deities and Demigods, Errol Otis, 1980. This is a little part of that cover. Here is another image here from the cover of Dungeons & Dragons Basic Set. This is by Errol Otis again, 1981. And these are all kind of those fun little images here. Just kind of flip through them here real quick. Of course, this is the... On Earth Arcana, Jeff Easley, 1985. The book that no one... Of course, here's a nice little interesting map, and I'm not sure why they chose this one here, this particular map. Uh, to, this the Tomb of Horrors map, of course, 1978, but I'm just not... I mean, obviously, it's um, iconic, and I'm just not sure why they chose this one exactly, but of course, it's very iconic, so that, that makes sense, I guess. Bean Folio... Uh, this one here is from the uh, one of the Dungeon Master's Guide from the first edition, the alternate or the other cover, the orange orange spine cover. Of course, the starter set, uh, red box. Here you have uh, Xanathar and his fish. Uh, this is a recent one that was done in fifth edition, even I think. Uh, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, Jason Rainville, 2017. And Xanathar and his fish. 
Here we have the Sword Coast, and this is uh, this is a really fun one. This would be really cool to draw. All these stairs going up, and all these uh, interesting elements on the walls and whatnot with these people going up there. So that would have been really kind of a fun thing there to. Uh, uh, this called, it's from Into the Unknown, the drag, the uh, Dungeon Survival Handbook by William O'Connell from 2012. So that's a really neat uh, piece there for me, I guess. Here is, of course, this guy here from the Dungeon Module S1 reprint, Errol Otis, 1981. Or uh, stick your hand in his mouth and uh, stick your hand right here and see what happens. You ever get to play that and you see this green guy, you know, You'll want to definitely stick your hand in there, just to just to see what happens. Here's a Roper from 1977, not the uh, um, Three's Company Roper, but a different Roper from 1977. Here's uh, Monster Manual Two, Jeff Easley. I was trying to see the date here, 1983. I have to have my glasses on to read all these here, of course, because. That's what happens. Um, this is an interesting one here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's the Village of Hamlet, of course. Uh, David Tramp here, 1979. Small section of the Village of Hamlet. There's a fun one here. It's uh, Dungeon Module S1 reprint. Um, make sure to shake his hand, too, when you af after you stick your hand in that green guy. He's just a friendly guy right here. Purple Worm. Once had a weapon. My character had a weapon called the Purple Worm Slayer. He was always uh, going to find and slay a Purple Worm. Never did, but he always bragged about how his weapon was a famous Purple Worm Slayer. First we have an Illithid here. This one here is from 1977, a Mind Flayer. Uh, that was by David Sutherland again. Another Asterac. This is from the um, more modern Asterac. This is off the cover of the Dungeon Masters 5th edition. Of course, we have Strahd. You can't have this without Ravenloft. So, definitely, definitely like this one. 1983 by Clyde Caldwell. So I'm actually putting that one up. This is, uh, oh, this is that, uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Actually, I'm actually playing through this one right now in, uh, in a 5th edition game. Actually, I'm running the game. But, uh, and this is, uh, Morden Kanan's Tome of Everything from 5th edition, or Tome of Foes, I guess, from, from 5th edition. And Xanathar's Everything is the book there. This is, uh, Yawning Portal, which you go into the, uh, Underdeep there. In 5th edition, there's another fun image here. Of course, this is from the Tomb of Horrors from uh, 1978. Um, like I said, this guy really likes hugs, so if your character ever encounters him, run up and give him a good hug. Famous for his hugs, that's what it is. And, um, Zuckboy? Yeah, the Zuckboy wedding scene, it says, Tyler Jacobs from 2016. Had never seen this before, but I was thinking it must be Zuckmoy there. So that's a pretty good uh, image there. A potion shop of some sort. Uh, Magic Potions 2014 Cyril van der Hagen. Okay. And I recognize this, of course, from the Champions of Corin, or one of the Corin box sets anyway. Flying Citadel, Keith Parkinson, 1985. This one actually could have been Death Knights of Corin too. I don't remember for one hundred percent sure. Here is uh, the mo the new fifth edition Monster Manual cover, Raymond Swanland. This is Dungeons and Dragons art Tiamat. Uh, let's see here, marketing art from twenty twenty. Okay. Of here's the Tiamat from the re uh, the uh, Rise of Tiamat, 2014, Michael Cormark. Map of Waterdeep, uh, Dragon Turtle, Baba Yaga's Hut, Displacer Beast. Let's see, this is a kind of a fun one here. It's the Legend of Drizzt, the Collected Stories, uh, Raymond Swanland, 2010. Never really read a lot of Drizzt stuff, so I'm not super familiar with it. Uh, here's Avenger. 
Uh, of course, that would be from the original Dungeons & Dragons cartoon, but once again, this was in 2020. It was created as marketing art, so... So yeah, that's kind of fun. Now we're back to the beginning here again, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like we're back to the beginning. So yeah, this is kind of a really neat set. Um, put it in a frame. I mean, these are definitely frame quality. Um, if you had to put them up in your game room, put them up in your office, put them up wherever you might want to display some of your favorite ones. I'm not sure if you could display all 50 or not. Or I guess you could surprise your gaming group and mail them to them. But uh, I don't think I would do that. Um, but, you know, for 20 bucks for a box, I guess you could... Uh, they're definitely affordable enough that you could uh, mail them out if you were so in inclined to do so. I think I would just uh, display them, though. But that's really all I have for this time. Uh, thanks for watching, and catch you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please give a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Catch you next time. Bye.